And here's the first of a set of examples on Newton's second law of motion. Here we have an object with mass m. Let's say that the mass is equal to uh, 3 kilograms and it's going around a circular pad of radius 5 meters with a velocity, a tangential velocity of 2 meters per second. And what is the force required to keep it in that circular motion? Remember, Newton's first law says that if there's no force acting on the object, the object will simply go in a straight line path at a constant speed forever. And since it's not doing that, it's going in a circular path, there must be some force acting on it. So, what is that force? Well, it's known as a centripetal force, the force required to keep it going in a circular path because it requires centripetal acceleration to do that. And the equation for centripetal acceleration is V squared over R, as we had seen in an earlier video. So, the centripetal force required is equal to what? Well, let's go to Newton's second law that says that F equals MA. And so, since here we're dealing with centripetal force and centripetal acceleration, we can write that F sub C, centripetal force, is equal to M times A sub C, centripetal, centripetal acceleration. And since that's equal to V square over R, we can say that F sub C is equal to M times V square over R. So all we have to do now is plug in the mass, the radius, and the velocity, and we find out what the force is. So in this case, we have a mass of 3 kilograms, a velocity of 2 meters per second. We have to square that, and we divide that by the radius of 5 meters. So 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 5 is 2.4, so it would be 2.4 newtons. And that would be the force required to keep the object going around in a circular path. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, the definition here is F equals MA, and it doesn't matter what the F or the A is. If it's centripetal, we use the very same equation, and then the equivalent for the centripetal acceleration to fill out the equation F equals MA known as Newton's second law. And that's how you do that.